As the web became more modern, so did web development, which then bled into the need for modern developer experience. In October of 2020, Next.js 10 was announced, and with that came the Next Image component. To talk about the machinations of this modern component, next up is solutions architect Lee Robinson of Next.js Vercel. Enjoy. I have a few slides today. I'll try to keep it pretty fast paced and hopefully not bore y'all. So let me just share my screen. Let me know if you can see my slides. And I can. Perfect. I always like to double check because as we've experienced, Zoom, Zoom has a mind of its own sometimes. <laughs> so like we mentioned, my name is Lee. I'm a solutions architect at Vercel. And just some fun facts. I went to Iowa State University and I had to have a degree in computer engineering. And I'm kind of a wannabe musician, as you can see behind me. Uh, I have my guitar and some things back here. So I enjoy doing that. Um, and I live in Des Moines, Iowa with my wife. We just got married a few months ago. So shout out to her. And today I want to talk a little bit about the image component in Next.js and the automatic image optimization. So with Next.js 10, which just came out last October at NextConf, we released the image component and automatic image optimization. And this is something that we've been working on in collaboration with the Google Chrome team, um, primarily because our priorities on the Vercel team and the Chrome team are very aligned, just trying to help improve the performance of the web. And a few of the things that we introduced in this component is that one, it's lazy loaded by default. So when I scroll down the page, um, those images are loaded as they get into viewport. And I'll have a, a demo of this here in a second. Um, it's responsive, which as we've seen from some of the other demos too, this is really, really helpful just to make it easy to add images to your website and account for all of the different formats that you wanna display them. Um, it supports modern web formats like WebP out of the box with AVIF support coming very soon. And finally, you're able to optimize those images on demand. So even if you have 10,000 images that you want to optimize, um, those optimizations happens at request time so that you can still have really quick builds, um, even with a lot of images. So just to do kind of a quick demo of this, I just recorded my screen. And if you check the network tab, you can see that as I'm scrolling down, the image requests are coming in and it's actually also served up with a type of WebP because we're using Chrome and Chrome supports this. So um, as we add support for newer modern image formats like AVIF, that will just work automatically with a version bump update. So it was funny because I was making these slides and I was like trying to figure out what I wanted to say about the difference between <laughs> WebP and others. And I was like, you know what? This meme template actually fits perfect. So. Really, the difference between WebP or other modern image formats and PNGs or JPEGs, they really look the same, but they're just going to be a lot smaller file size so that you can have better performance for your users. So let's look at some actual code. So to use image optimization and the image component with Next.js, it's just included as part of the framework, so you don't need to install anything extra. And if you import an image from Next Image, you can define a source definitely define an alt tag, and then a width and height of your image. And there's also more than this, but this is really just the basic hello world. I wanna get an image on the screen and I wanna use image optimization. So what more is there? Great question. <laughs> so this also works with both local and remote images. So if you wanna put things directly in Git, you can do that. If you want to have them in a external place like Cloudinary or S3 or wherever you want to have this, that will work as well, or a headless CMS like Sanity. Um, it works automatically when you use Next Start. So regardless of where you want to host this using your Next.js application, as long as you can run a node server, you are able to use this. There's support for multiple different layouts. So we tried to make it like a drop-in replacement for the image tag. So all of the layout types that you're familiar with on an image tag, you can use those as well with next image. And then the final one that I want to talk about on this is custom loaders. So 
when we first launched the image component, we included some of the most popular loaders, AKA providers would be another word for it. Um, things like Cloudinary or Akamai or et cetera. And quickly as we released this, people said, this is great, but I would also like to use my provider or my own custom um, solution for optimizing images. So we introduced the concept of a custom loader. And the way this works is you define a loader that's just this function that you can pass in. And it allows you to define how image optimization resolves those URLs. So you get access to the source, the width, and the quality. And then you can forward that along to whatever image optimization service that you want to provide uh, if you want to do something custom. So that's really nice. Um, I'm excited to see people take advantage of this. So you start using Next Image because you want to improve the performance of your site. But another feature of this is that you want to track that performance over time. So as we've talked about here a little bit, these core web vitals are really important and making sure that your site is performant, not only for your end users, but also for SEO and indexing on Google. And one really cool thing with Next.js is that there's a feature called Next.js Analytics that allows you to track this performance over time. So what we're looking at here is just a, a dashboard of analytics. And the, the dashed lines are actually deployments. So it was a busy couple of days in this screenshot. And what you're able to do is track before you had next image and after you had next image and see how those affect things like your first contentful paint, largest contentful paint and your layout shift. Um, and make sure that you don't regress on those over time because really the end goal with doing this is trying to improve those metrics and provide a, a better, um, a better experience for your users. So when we were doing research into this and working with the Chrome team, we found that just by using the image component and preloading those images into that initial viewport and improved the LCP by up to 50%. So there's a huge opportunity to kind of bake in some of these best practices around how to load images into popular frameworks like we are talking about today so that we can help improve the performance of the web as a whole. And then just going further, if you wanted to, you could break down a little bit just to see on a per page level or a per URL, which pages have good or bad scores. So that's kind of the current state of affairs. But I wanted to also talk a little bit about the future of this and where we see this going. Um, we, we've been listening to how people are using Next Image, the things they like, the things that they would want to improve. And these are probably some of the biggest ones that we've seen so far. And I'm, I'm really excited to get this added directly into the framework. So we're gonna have a solution where you won't have to specify the width and height of your images. If you have just local images that are in your directory and you don't wanna worry about manually setting those values, it can just you know read them from the file system. Um, blur up placeholders. So probably gonna be something based on a blur hash, but just something that allows you to have a little bit more control over the loading state of your images, um, immutable caching. So if you know that you know, these images are never going to change, we're gonna have a solution in place that will put a hash on the file name so that you can add the immutable cache control header. And then really we just wanna make it easy for um, community libraries like Next Images, I believe, Next Optimized Images. There's a few that have been spun up ahead of time to kind of address these things in user land before we could get them into the framework. And we wanna help those communities um, bring those back and put them directly in the framework. So I wanted to keep it pretty short and sweet. Uh, that's pretty much all I have. I'm happy to answer any questions anyone has, but uh, yeah, thanks for having me today. Really appreciate it. There, there was one other thing I just wanted to quickly mention. <laughs> I kind of Please. forgot to say this in my talk, yes. but um, the cool thing about the analytics too, uh, is that it works for Gatsby too. So for, for y'all who are coming from the Gatsby world, you can also use this with Gatsby. And um, the image optimization that I talked about, um, basically if you just get push a brand new Next.js project to Vercel or Gatsby, you can configure that to work with image optimization. So yeah. Awesome.